ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Is Aritok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aria came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little bird than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. 
You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Don't believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banook with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Hmm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Araya's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her, and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Hmm. How do I put it? Uh... Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell How me more about Araya or Thunderstrom. Are you with a shot? Painting. It's been ages. What do you think Sakuli's painting will look like when she's finished it?
I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Orea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own lie for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Did your Werek come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Not have painted the same way for ages. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes, a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din, or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Come on, she's so 